Good morning everybody, this is Gopi here again with another super suffix challenge for our Monday's Mornings GPS lesson. Today we are going to be learning how to add S and ES to words. So for example, coin will become coins and dish becomes dishes. Okay, so there's a couple of reasons why we add S and ES to words. One is to change it from a singular, that means one of something, so here I've got one boy, and we add S or ES to change it from a singular into a plural, that means more than one of something, so boy would become boys, and as you can see, I've added S to make it say boys, and watch, if I want, I've got more than one watch, I'll have watches. And as you can see, I've added ES to turn it from watch into watches. We also add S and ES to words when we want to change a verb, that's one of our doing words, into the present tense. That means it's happening right now. So if I had the word run, I would turn it into, if it was happening now, I would turn it into runs. So it would say the girl runs away. So you can see I've added an S to turn run into runs. Okay, so if I had the word catch and it was happening right now, I might say the dog catches the ball. So you can see that I've added ES to the word catch to make it catches. When we want to make words a plural or into the present tense, most of the time for most words, we just add S. So lamp would become lamps, boat would become boats, jump would become jumps, skip would become skips, cook would become cooks, door would become doors. Sometimes we need to add ES to words rather than just S to make them a plural or to make them into the present tense. The way to remember if you need ES is if the word ends in one of these sounds. If it ends in s, x, z, ch, or sh, then we need ES. Most other letters, we just need S. So let's look at some words together. So radish would become radishes because it ends in a sh. Hutch would become hutches because hutch ends in a ch. Box would become boxes because box ends with a x. Buzz would become buzzes because buzz ends with a z. Bus would become buses because bus ends with a s. And glass would become glasses because glass ends in a s. The tricky thing about adding es is that es makes an is sound, but it is spelt es. Okay, let's play a game. We're going to see if we can turn these words into a plural by adding s or es. Can you remember the trick? If the word ends in s, x, z, ch, or sh, we need to add es. Any other letter, we just add s. So we've got the word elephant, watch, tree, apple, fox, and church. You might want to pause the video here and have a little chat, a little think about which jar do they are they going to go into. Are they going to go into the s jar or are they going to go into the es jar? I'll give you a few seconds. Right, do you think you know? Let's look at the answers. Oh, where are they going to go? Well done. If you said elephant, apple and tree, should go into the S jar because they've become elephants, apples, 
and trees. Well done if you said fox, church and watch. Watch should go into the ES jar because they've become foxes, churches and watches. You can almost hear it at the end, that is sound. But remember, it's not spelt is, it's spelt E-S. Okay, independent challenge time. I'm going to ask you to see if you can add S or ES to the words below and then put them into a sentence. So, if I had the word car, I would change it to the word cars by adding S. Then my sentence could be, there were lots of cars on the road. If I had the word which, I could change it into witches by adding ES because which ends in a ch. Then my sentence could be, the witches got onto their brooms. Remember, if the word ends in a s, x, z, ch or sh, we add ES. And you can almost hear it. Remember, it sounds like that is at the end of a word. But we don't write is, we write ES. Okay, so we've got the words owl, pen, run, hutch, fox and kiss. See if you can change those words by adding S or ES. Well done, Year One. I'm really looking forward to seeing your words and sentences. Please post them in the comments below and I will see you soon. Bye.